Welcome, in front of me is a ZTE Blade A55, and today I will show you how you can enable power saving mode on this device. So to get started, you'll want to swipe down from the top of your screen like so, and then swipe down once again to extend the list of visible toggles. Next, locate the power saving toggle, which might not be added by default, at least I don't see it on my end. So we will need to do that ourselves by clicking right here on this pencil. And somewhere below you'll have um, these, I can already see ultra power saving mode, but I don't see the normal one. Let's see if there is maybe one lower but it doesn't look like it. So we're gonna add the ultra power saver. So you wanna hold it, drag it over to the top, drop it, and when you go back, you should have access to it. Now, uh, this mode won't be probably what you're looking for exactly. Uh, this one is like the super excessive power saving mode uh, where it removes your wallpaper, um, most of applications from your home screen, and just tries to preserve as much battery as it possibly can. I will enable it just so you can see how that looks like. Uh, but the reason uh, I also recommended you to add it, even though you might not have use of it, is because it is a quicker way, even going through that, to access the normal power saving mode. So here you can see that's how the um, ultra power saver looks like. So I'm gonna quit it right here. Okay. Now, pulling down our notifications and finding the toggle once again, you can hold it instead. And this will take us to the battery management section. And you can see right above, as the first option, we have power saver. So this is the normal power saving mode and you can enable it from here. So like I said, even though we might not have use of the ultra power saver, it still gives us uh, versatility uh, to access the normal power saving mode. So there we go. Now, unfortunately, because we don't have a toggle to turn off your uh, normal power saving mode, you will need to navigate back in here and toggle it off, uh, opposed to you know, having a toggle and just being able to click on it from here to turn it on and off. But anyway, with that being said, hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.